Die Deutsche Lebensrettungsgesellschaft, the German Life Saving Association, DLRG for short, is the world's largest voluntary water rescue organization. With around 75,000 members, the Wasserwacht is part of the German Red Cross. The DLRG, on the other hand, has over 600,000 members. The DLRG was founded on 19 October 1913 in Leipzig. While a flood in Regensburg was the initial spark for the Wasserwacht, for the DLRG it was the collapse of a jetty in Binz on the island of Rügen. 100 people fell into the water on 28 July 1912 and 16 or 17 people, including two kids, died. One reason was that only around 2% of Germans could swim at the time. While bathing was still quite normal in the Middle Ages, the number of people who could swim decreased in modern times. Prussian General Ernst Heinrich Adolf von Pfühl was a military reformer and introduced swimming lessons for soldiers in 1810. He also set up bathing establishments in which he taught breaststroke, a technique copied from frogs. During the accident in Binz, it was a soldier and sergeant Richard Römer who alone saved 12 people, for which he was subsequently awarded the rescue medal on ribbon in the name of the emperor. Richard Römer is therefore also known as the father of the DLRG. At that time, around 5,000 Germans lost their lives by drowning every year. The foundation was intended by swimming organizations modeled on the Royal Life Saving Society in London. The DLRG has therefore set itself to task. Firstly, lifeguards were trained. The aim was to enable more people to rescue others in distress. Secondly, people should learn to swim in general. The First World War and the post-war period severely hampered the work and the development of the DLRG. By 1925 its work had almost come to a complete standstill. In 1933 the DLRG was brought into line and incorporated in the German Reich Association for Physical Exercise. By 1942 one million lifeguards had been trained. The number of deaths by drowning had fallen to a third of what it was in 1913. After the Second World War, the DLRG was re-established in West Germany in 1947, while its tasks in the GDR were taken over by the Red Cross and the GDR water rescue organization Wasserwacht. In 1951, the DLRG joined the International Life Saving Federation or its predecessor organization. The DLRG has also been represented on the coast since 1955. As many indoor and outdoor swimming pools were built in the 1960s and 1970s, the DLRG also saw a large increase in membership. At the same time, there were more opportunities to organize swimming courses. In 1978, the swimming regulations were standardized and since then, there has been an early swimmer's badge, also known as Seepferdchen, seahorse. This is normally awarded to kindergarten and primary school children. Then there are the bronze, silver and gold swimming badges. From the bronze swimming badge onwards, it is assumed that the person can swim independently, even without permanent supervision. Among other things, you have to be able to swim for 15 minutes at a time, using different swimming styles, in the prone and supine position for at least 200 meters as well as being able to dive. For silver you must swim for at least 20 minutes at a time covering at least 400 meters in different positions. In addition there is at least 10 meters of distance diving and theoretical knowledge of self-rescue like in the event of cramps. The gold level requires at least 30 minutes of swimming, at least 800 meters in various positions and an additional 50 meters of transport swimming to rescue someone else. In addition to the swimming badges, there are also rescue swimming badges from youth rescue swimmers to bronze, silver and gold. Similar to the German Red Cross, the DLRG also has more state associations than federal states. Here too Baden and Württemberg as well as North Rhine and Westphalia are separated. The youth section of the DLRG is the DLRG Jugend. 
It has around 345,000 members and is just as widespread as the DLRG itself. After reunification in 1990, local DLRG groups were also re-established in East Germany. In addition to offering swimming courses and lifeguard trainings, the DLRG monitors numerous bathing areas on inland waters and on the beaches of the North Sea and Baltic Sea. Here too, numerous volunteers are on duty to ensure the safety of bathers. Whenever the red and yellow flag is flying, lifeguards are on duty at this section. It is then possible to swim in the area and no water sports equipment may be used. If a yellow flag is also flying, lifeguards are present but the conditions are challenging and only good swimmers should swim, means at least DLRG bronze badge. If there is also a windsock blowing, the winds are also dangerous. Anyone wishing to use an air mattress, for example, could be blown out onto the open water by offshore winds. If a red flag is flying, swimming is life-threatening. So only swim when and where it is safe. The DLRG is also deployed during storm surges and floods, from the great storm surge in Hamburg to the recent flooding in south of Germany. In addition to lifeguards, divers, boatmen and dog handlers are also deployed. And of course, in addition to swimming and lifeguard training, they also have first aid training and training with radios, vehicles and other necessary equipment. DLRG helpers are also deployed internationally in the event of water-related disasters. For example, the DLRG and the Technisches Hilfswerk, German Federal Agency for Technical Relief, THW for short, are jointly deployed as part of the European Disaster Relief Program Flood Rescue using boats in flooded areas throughout Europe. DLRG helpers were also deployed during the tsunami disaster in 2004, for example. The DLRG is also involved in domestic disaster control and provides equipment and volunteers for the construction and accommodation and care facilities. Thanks to the good work of the DLRG, the Wasserwacht and other rescue organizations, as well as the compulsory swimming lessons in the school, the number of deaths by drowning fell to 378 per year in 2023. Also, the number unfortunately rose slightly after coronavirus because many swimming courses were cancelled. If you want to see more of the DLRG, you can do so on their own channel here on YouTube, link in the description. And if you want to train yourself or your children in swimming, perhaps even become a lifeguard yourself or even join the DLRG directly, you are sure to find a local organization nearby that offers courses and is happy to welcome new members. So, pack die Badehose ein, pack your swimming trunks. Thank you for your attention, see you in the next video.